Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan, Managing Director, LS Solutions, Private Limited, a .NET trainer and an architect. This is the fifth part of the Bootstrap free video series. In this video, I will explain how to use the scroll spy option provided by the Bootstrap. Scroll spy is a plugin where when the user is going to scroll across the form according to the content that has been scrolled on the page scroll spy helps in highlighting the navigation tabs let's see how to use the scroll spy plugin with our asp.net applications let's start with the demo I already opened my Visual Studio.net and also added the required bootstrap files which are needed for our application. Let me just try to add an HTML file where the name I give it as vertical scroll spy. So let me just try to update the title demo on using bootstrap vertical scroll spy. So the first thing that I need to do was I need to include my bootstrap CSS. So let me just try to include my bootstrap CSS file. Now once I included the bootstrap file, now let's try to start with the designing of our application. I would like to specify a div. Within this, I would like to have the header part. To create an header part, I take the support of navigation bar. So I say div class navbar and I wanted to give a inverse of this so I say navbar inverse and this navigation bar should be displayed onto the top so I say navbar fixed top and since this is for the navigation purpose the role I just mentioned as navigation in case if you have any doubts on working with the navigation bars make sure that you watch the video of mine on how to use navigation bars now I would like to define a class where I simply give it as a container and within this container I would like to take a div tag where the header I just specified as this is going to be a navigation header where I just give it as learn today scroll spy demo. So once I define this particular navigation bar, next what I would like to do was I would like to define the main content where the navigation should happen. So I say div class row and uh, since I have made the navigation bar as a fixed one, by default the navigation bar takes up to 50 pixels. So I just try to specify the margin as 60 pixels a bit gap between the navigation bar and this and since I would like to go for the vertical scroll bar so what I try to do was I did a class where I would like to provide the options so I'm just trying to take one div which will be having a column size as 3 so that all the navigation options I can just put it towards the side in order to provide the navigation options towards the side I take the support of a class where the name I just mentioned as here uh, BS sidebar and here I would like to provide a list of unordered list items so I say class nav and I say BS side nav and then what I try to do was the ID for this I give it as something like example this I would like to have a list of uh, items so I say this is going to be the active item so class is going to be active and this is going to navigate towards a place called it as say overview and the text for this I will just give it as overview the next thing I try to simply have a reference 
where I just give the reference to some particular name called test model. And once again, one more list item just for understanding this particular thing properly. I say something like tab, another list item where I just simply specify something like scroll spy itself. So once I have a list of uh, unordered list items that are prepared, my next requirement is the content of this particular thing I just wanted to have. So in order to prepare the content, that's the main part that we will be uh, having here. So what I try to do was I just simply specify div class equal to call md9. And since this is going to be the main part, I say role equal to main. Once I define the role as main, now let's try to provide the definitions what is required for this thing. So I just specify h3 id equal to overview. That's the id I just try to specify where the text I just give it as overview. Next what I try to do was I take some class where I give it as a lead where I simply say overview of bootstrap some name I am just trying to provide it and what is the content that you wanted to display so I just wanted to have some content so I just pasted some dummy information here so whenever the user is going to click on that he will be going for this thing next similarly I would need like to have a header ID equal to model class equal to lead understandings model some information and some chunk data I try to add it so in this way I try to add the details so once I added this thing next what I try to do was for the remaining two things I say h3 id equal to the tab class I give it as a lead I say how to use tab a paragraph for providing the details of this thing similarly I will say h3 id equal to scroll spy I say scroll spy and then class lead I say using bootstrap scroll spy a paragraph and the content so this is the content what we have prepared now once that has been done my next requirement that I would like to have is in order to work with this particular things I just close all the div tags in order to get the sidebar, we need to use a style sheet with the name called as docs.css. So I'll try to bring in this particular CSS file. And since we are going to use the bootstrap, the first script I would like to have is my jQuery script file. And along with the jQuery script file, what I require here is the bootstrap file. So I try to bring in my bootstrap.js. And along with this, I need an application.js file which you can download it from the bootstrap itself. So once I just placed all the files which are required for supporting this, next what I try to do is I simply add some jQuery script for getting that particular magic functionality. So I say text by JavaScript and I provide something like dollar $document.ready and we have a function to be executed where I can just simply specify dollar body once I just have this particular thing I have a method now given called as scroll spy where the target I just simply specify it as 
hash example that's the id what we have provided i'm just mentioning this once i close the script and the body and html now let me just try to execute this particular page now let's try to check it out when i just try to scroll this particular thing we can just try to observe it when the content is in the overview i am able to see the highlighting is on the overview when the cursor is going to come over the model i can see that the highlighting has been done on the model when i try to scroll towards the tab we can just try to observe it the tab is getting highlighted likewise when i try to scroll towards the scroll spike we are getting that content as highlighted so the advantage of scroll spy is whenever we are trying to scroll the content accordingly uh, to the navigation the content or the text gets highlighted hope you are clear with how to use a vertical scroll bar or scroll spy and in the next video i will try to explain you how to use horizontal scroll spy if you like this particular video please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel thank you